Hi, I'm Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class TV. Today, I'd like to walk you through the new E7. It's the latest generation of a multifunction display for small boat navigation with very simple to use features, compact, looks great. You gotta see it, come with me. There's two versions of the E7. There's the standard E7 and what we have here, the E7D. The E7D is a combo unit that features the HD sonar. All you have to decide when you buy the combo unit is do you need a transom mount, an in-haul, or a through-hole version. Now every version of the E7 has a 7-inch display that is ultra bright. It also has a GPS sensor built right into the unit. No external antenna is needed. You can purchase with your E7 a preloaded Navionics micro SD card with easy to use navigation charts. The beauty of the E7 is that you can keep it simple with just a standard fish chart display or expand it and add radar, weather, additional displays, or even thermal night vision, and a whole lot more. Raymarine understands we live in a wireless world today. That's why they've built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology into the brand new E7. It lets you do some really cool syncing between your iPhone and your iPad and your E7. If you have an iPhone, go grab the Raymarine app. It's free, really cool. With the Raymarine Viewer app, your iPhone or your iPad is transformed into an E7 repeater so you can see the E7 display from anywhere on board. I personally like to check in on the fish finder. When I have my fish finder up, I can be at the front of my boat fishing and know exactly where the bait is. It's a fantastic app. What I really like about the Raymarine Viewer app is the fact that it puts so much information in the palm of your hand. Your charts, your fish finder, your radar, weather, even thermal imaging, everything is right there. One of the things I've really enjoyed over the last few months is the freedom to plan my trips on my Navionics mobile app. Now that I can sync all the information from my smartphone or my iPad directly with the built-in Wi-Fi capability of my new E7, it's fantastic. Plan trips, mark favorite fishing spots, come aboard the boat, sync them together, and everything I have in here is now in my machine ready to go. With the new E7, the wireless capabilities go even further. With a wireless remote control unit right here on my steering wheel, and Bluetooth connectivity so that I can operate my MP3 player. Raymarine has designed this cool RCU3 remote that clamps directly to the steering wheel. The remote uses Bluetooth technology so it's easy to set up and easy to sync with the E7. I love being able to change range scales or switch between apps without letting go of the wheel. I can even drop a waypoint directly from the wheel. The thing I like the most about the RCU3 remote is the fact that I can keep both hands on the wheel when I'm making high speed runs or if I'm going through an extensive creek system where I'm making lots of hard right and left turns where safety is number one. Additionally, Bluetooth technology allows me to run my MP3 player, which I earlier stowed away out of the elements, right from my E7. Let me show you an example. I push my MP3 icon right here on the E7 my audio controls come up, I can hit my play button, start rocking out to tracks, I can skip tracks, I can even stop the tracks if I have to make a phone call or have a conversation. Very simple, very clean, the E7 does it all for you. With the E7, Raymarine's developed a brand new user interface. It's called Lighthouse. Super easy to use, come take a look with me. The new Lighthouse interface basically eliminates the need to reach for your owner's manual. Let me demonstrate how easy the Lighthouse user interface really reacts. Go to the home screen. You've got large, easy to read icons. If I slide over, I can hit my favorite setup, which is the chart fish. I love the easy drop down menus, very easy to understand. I like the fact that it's hybrid touch. So I can go over here and I can, I can pan with my hand in calm seas or here at the dock or I can zoom in and out with my keypad, which gives me total control in rough water. 
Very nice, very simple, very fast. The ultimate performance. One of the things about the new Raymarine E7 is its extreme power and performance. Let's take a look. One of the most impressive features about the new E7 is how fast it is. At the heart of each one of these units is a dual core processor with a third dedicated processor just for graphics. I'm talking super fast, right here, right now, the ultimate performance. Anyone who's been around marine electronic displays as much as I have over the years has experienced some type of blackout effect when they turn their head at a certain angle. The E7 has virtually eliminated that process. With their new sport optic friendly technology, the E7 never had that issue. Another amazing feature in the Raymarine E7 is the fact that you can use your radar to find fish. Everyone knows if you find the birds offshore or along the beaches, you find the fish. The bird mode within the radar feature sets the game perfectly to pick up small targets. It helps me find the fish and saves me a lot of fuel. In fact, I've got a promising target up ahead here that I want to go look at. We're going to run down the beach to a zone that I'm quite familiar with and see if we can mark a few fish. Follow me. The beauty about using a digital fish sounder is that you just turn it on and you're marking fish. There's no adjusting the gain or anything. I mean, right away, here we go, we're marking fish. Those are obvious fish. You don't have to be an engineer. You're an expert. You turn it on, you're, you're literally a fish expert. You can see us marking fish right here above the reef. You're not going to make a mistake. It's undeniable. These are, these are actual individual fish. It marks it perfectly. There's a big group right there. Right here, guys. It's time to get some lines in the water. We're on them. When you're trying to familiarize yourself with brand new equipment, the E7 has a radar feature and a thermal imaging feature that I've added on here. I'm using it in bright sunlight so I can get used to using this equipment to improve my situational awareness at night. So if I were gonna go snook fishing at night, I'd run this during the daytime so that I can see exactly what I'm gonna see at night. You can look at the radar here and you can see the image where it's picking the bridge up that's going horizontally across the screen here and it's got the two banks in the intercoastal. And here on the thermal imaging camera, I can actually see the cars and the trucks going over the top of the bridge. This gives me vision when I really can't see in a low light situation. It's really smart to utilize your radar and your thermal imaging camera during the bright light hours. When you take the time to get yourself familiar with this type of equipment during the daylight hours, you'll have no problem utilizing it when you have a low light situation, albeit fog or albeit an evening hour trip. I can see everything and I'm very confident with my gear. The E7 thermal imaging and radar, put them to work for you. Thanks again for joining me today on the E7 Tour. I just installed one on my boat, I'm very excited. If you're excited about getting one on your boat, visit www.raymarine.com or go to your local Raymarine dealer.